Hi and welcome Marwan Painter is here and welcome to this tutorial in this tutorial I need to create something like this so let's create uh, this mug I have this image and I want to put this image inside blender so I just uh, opened a new blender scene here I need to delete all of these so just hit a x d to delete them all and here I have the image of the mic I will press number one to go to the front view and I will take this image drag and drop it here inside and there we go now I have the image can move it a bit maybe back to the y-axis so just hit key to move and then Y to move it to the y-axis take it back a bit and I just need this image as a reference just to see uh, how can I uh, model this so let's add the cylinder here to add anything inside blender you need to go to add and then mesh and choose whatever uh, mesh you need to select from this list or you can hit shift a and go to mesh and let's add a cylinder so now we got a cylinder because of the snap to increment activated you can press g and z and hold control to move it just like that one snap to put it or to snap it to the ground just like what i did all right now we have this the scale of this piece is very big if we open this this panel you will notice that the dimension is two meter in the height so don't worry about that i'm gonna leave it uh, at the size and i will model uh, this mug at this size and then if i want i can scale it down so let's get started the first thing i will jump to the edit mode so just hit tab from the keyboard and there we go hit number three to switch to the face mode select this face maybe i need to take it up so hit key and z to move it to the z axis just a bit like that and then hit s to scale it a bit just scale it a bit like that and there we go now we created something like that now hit control with r to add edge right here and when you see the edge hit left click to confirm it and then move the mouse down a bit because i need to place this edge right here and then hit s to scale it a bit and now i have this a little curve here that's cool now after that i will add the edge right here Control r to add edge hit left click to confirm it and take it up right about there maybe and for this one i need to bevel it so to bevel it hit control would be and bevel this one okay and bevel it maybe right here and then i need to take the result down you can grab this edge i'll hit alt and click here to grab the edge loop and hold alt hit alt shift to grab this one g twice and take them down a bit don't worry if they separate it like that take this one g twice and slide it up right maybe right here so that's cool now what we need uh, I need to select this entire edge loop alt click left click and control B for bevel and just bevel this area at the same thickness or uh, at the same size of this uh, the previous one and now I need to select these this face so switch to faces hit number three grab this face this one and let's go to the front view hit number one from the numpad or you can go to a view and let's see where is it a viewport and front view and hit e to extrude and just extrude like that and hit g to move it a bit and let's see the reference image let's see what we got here it, t it goes up a bit and then goes back down so to extrude that thing and to create that this handle there is a nice technique you can use you can hold control and put the the cursor here and hit right click and that will make new extrusion and that's gonna make you create some handle very fast and when we get to this side 
hit R to rotate this a bit. Just like that, hit key to move it maybe. And there we go. Now let's see what we got so far. We got this result. I need to merge these faces with these. So with these selected, hold shift to grab these. And then go to face to edge and break edge loops. Just like that. And there we go. Let's go back to the front view and let's tweak to the uh, wireframe. Just hit Z and go to wireframe and leave the Z. And that will switch the view to wireframe. And hit number one to switch to vertices. Grab these vertices, hit G to move them a bit. So grab these and maybe take this up a bit. Grab them and hit G and move them just like that. That's cool. Now let's see what we got here. Hit Z and go to the solid view. Now we got this result so far. All right, now I will take this vertex, hit G twice and slide it up and take this one, hit G and Z and just move it up a bit, just like that. All right, that's, that's cool. All right, now after that, I will uh, select, maybe let's see which edge we need to select. I will select these edges, hit number two. And I will select this edge and hold shift and I grab this one. The same thing on this side, this edge and this one. And I need to scale them. So I can scale them like that to the Y axis, but I need to activate proportional editing. So just activate this tool and hit S to the Y. And now you have this brush of the proportional editing. You can, if you make it very big, you will affect the mug. But if you make it small, you will affect the handle alone. So I just need to affect the handle. But I need, I think I need to grab these two. And again, S to the Y. And just scale them like that. Okay, that's cool. The same thing for this one. S Y. Make it small a bit. For this one and this one. S Y. That's cool. All right, let's see now what we can do here. Let's edit these further. Maybe I need to take this edge up, key and Z and take it up a bit. Switch to the vertex, just hit number one and grab this vertex and move it a bit. Just make some tweaking here. And there we go, that's nice. Now let's see what else we can do here. I will switch to the face mode to grab this face and hit I to insert and just insert this a bit right about there and then and then hit E and take it down. And now we got this result. Let's switch to front view, hit number one from the numpad and hit Z and go to wireframe. And let's take this up right about here maybe and scale this result. Sorry, let's switch, let's turn off the proportional editing, hit S and scale this a bit like that and let's see what we got from the inside hit Z and go to solid and now we got this result here so with this face selected hit I for insert and insert the result just like that and then delete this face to delete it just hit X F to delete it now let's hit 2 to switch to the to edge mode hit alt and grab all of these edges and go to face and grid fill we got quad result here after that, grab these inner 
edges and hit control with B to bevel this area just bevel it and scroll the mouse to to add more segment here inside and there we go now we got a nice smooth curve here inside the same thing for this side hit 3 switch to face grab this face I for inset XF to delete this face switch to edge grab these edges face grid fill and there we go grab these edges control B to bevel this area but don't bevel it too much we don't need that just a bit right there maybe you can scroll the mouse to add more segment if you want I think four will work for me now let's see what else we can do here maybe I need to support this area hit control R and add edge right here and leave it in this place the same thing here control R and there we go and let's see what else we can do here I will add edge loop here control R to and confirm them and leave them in the center just hit right click now what I will do is I will grab this face hit number three grab this face hold control grab this one and then hold control and grab grab this face right here on this side hold hip to select a new face hold control to grab this one and this one and then hit S to the Y to create some curve here and let's see what we can do for this one and this one hit S and the same thing for this side grab this one and this one hit S to the Y and that's nice hit control R to add H loop here to support this area the same thing here control R here and I will hit alt and grab this entire edge loop alt shift to grab this one control B and create a bevel in this place and we almost finished here tap to the object mode right click and add shade smooth and now it's smooth and if you want to go farther you can go to the modifier properties and add uh, let's see what we can add subdiffusion surface and now we have very nice result here if you want to take if you want to take this farther you can add two a two subdivision here and that will make it very smooth we have some weird uh, shading here because we added edge and to fix that you can let's turn off this temporarily you can turn off it by clicking this icon tap to the uh, edit mode and let's see what is the problem we have too much edges here I will uh, grab this edge hold control and hit control X to dissolve it the same thing here hold control and grab all of these edges control X to dissolve it and let's see what we have here alt click this one G twice maybe I need to slide this up a bit and this one G twice slide it down and now I will uh, switch to the face sorry switch to the vertex mode hit number one and grab this a vertex and I will activate the auto merge here this icon activated and I will slide this one to this one to merge them so G twice take this up G twice take this down the same thing here G twice G twice now they are merged if you want to make this tight at this area you can grab these edges hold control and grab them just like that and you can bevel them so control B for bevel maybe three that will work and you can get something like that the same thing you can repeat it here sorry control B for bevel 
and there we go so I will hit tab and let's uh, activate the subdivision and let's see what we got here now we have nicer image it is very smooth and if we compare this with this result it's almost close to the image so this video was part one I will see you in the part two